The people of Puerto Rico are still struggling to get their lives back in order. Tens of thousands of families were displaced in the destruction that Hurricane Irma and Maria caused. But did you know we have refugee families right here in Santa Monica? Laura Alleman tells her story. I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm just trying to live one day after the other. The hurricanes had millions scrambling to survive, but Laura's family was particularly at risk. Her uncle, mentally and physically disabled, her grandmother, an Alzheimer patient, and her mother, their caretaker, who has a laundry list of broken bones and illnesses of her own, were stranded without water, power, or gasoline, things necessary to keep life-saving medications from going bad, to power life-sustaining machines. He needs suction and oxygen and therapy and many other things that depend completely on electricity. Laura lives here in LA, but was born and raised in Puerto Rico. And that's where she was with her family when Irma and Maria hit. They were fortunate enough to get connected with the mayor to help secure a hospital room. But even the hospital couldn't help. That's when I said like, okay, either we get out or we're all gonna die in here. After 130 phone calls, 40 emails, and even some Facebook Live videos, Laura was finally connected with Valerie Edmondson Bolaños and Morier Angels Rescue. Prompted by her own family's urgent need, Valerie chartered a private plane to extract her loved ones from the chaos in Puerto Rico. But she was faced with a tough decision when she realized she had two empty seats on the plane. There's like no other word for it other than like the worst zombie apocalypse movie you've ever seen. So like those two seats weren't gonna cut it. And as soon as I was already invested, I was like, okay, well then we need another plane. Laura and her family are four of the approximately 350 people that Valerie has been able to charter flights for to fly out of Puerto Rico. Valerie was able to help them secure a temporary place to stay in Santa Monica, but still the family is not quite out of the woods. I need to get them oxygen. I need to uh, get them proper treatment. My grandmother needs a surgery for her tumor. Um, my mom needs help with a nurse or something because she needs to take care of herself. She hasn't been able to see a doctor. A friend started a GoFundMe account, but the response has been slow. Still, everyone involved says they're grateful for all of the grassroots efforts that saved their families. Valerie's movement is called Warrior Angels. And I am in the city of Los Angeles, right? It's been angels around surrounded by I have been through a whole nightmare to go back. So I need to be with my daughter. And she needs to be here. And now I'm here and I'm safe. I'm okay. I don't have a house. I have some aid from people that's really human beings. And that's what we need. Human beings that can't imagine what's the suffering on my island. That I've been going through a really nasty problems right now. And the government is just like, yeah, we're doing fine. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. If you'd like to donate to Laura, you can go to gofundme.com slash myfamilyalive. You can also donate to warriorangelsrescue.com. Help us. <laughs> um, not only my family, but the people in Puerto Rico. For the West Side Beat, this is Kaylee Chella reporting.